Ever wondered about the biblical figure who supposedly walked with God and was no more? This is Enoch, the protagonist of the Book of Enoch. The enigma of Enoch is indeed a captivating tale. This intriguing figure, mentioned briefly in the Bible, is said to have lived a life so virtuous that he was taken up by God, bypassing the mortal coil of death. But the biblical accounts leave much to the imagination, and it's here that the mystery of the Book of Enoch begins. The Book of Enoch, a collection of ancient Jewish religious works, is an enigma in itself. Despite its rich narratives and profound teachings, it does not find its place in the canonical scriptures of most traditions. The reasons are varied and complex, but primarily it's because the book's authenticity and origins have been a subject of debate among religious scholars for centuries. Yet despite its non-canonical status, the Book of Enoch continues to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike. The book is divided into three parts, each offering a unique perspective on Enoch and his teachings. The first part, the Book of Watchers, explores the fall of the Watchers, the angels who fathered the Nephilim. The second part, the Parables of Enoch, contains unique material not found in other apocalyptic literature. The third part, the Astronomical Book, delves into the cosmology of Enoch's time. Each part of the book holds its own mysteries and insights, making the Book of Enoch a rich tapestry of ancient wisdom and spiritual teachings. It's a riveting exploration of the divine and the mortal, the celestial and the earthly, offering a glimpse into the spiritual beliefs and understandings of a time long past. So, why does the Book of Enoch matter? Because it's a testament to humanity's quest for understanding, a chronicle of our collective longing to unravel the mysteries of existence and the divine. It's a story that continues to resonate, despite the passage of millennia. Unearth the secrets of this ancient manuscript as we delve into the fascinating chronicles of the Book of Enoch. The first part of the Book of Enoch, called the Book of Watchers, introduces us to the Watchers, heavenly beings who fell from grace. These celestial entities, initially stationed as observers of mankind, developed a curiosity that tipped over into obsession. Drawn to the beauty and vivacity of human women, they abandoned their heavenly posts to pursue earthly desires. This union of the divine and mortal birthed a new race, the Nephilim. Giants in stature and strength, the Nephilim were as awe-inspiring as they were terrifying. But their existence was not without consequences. They consumed and ravaged, their insatiable hunger and thirst for power causing chaos and despair among humanity. The Watchers, in their newfound earthly existence, began to share secrets of heaven with humankind. They taught humans about the cosmos, about magic and metallurgy, about herbs and their healing properties. This knowledge, however, came at a great cost. It upset the divine balance, and the world was thrown into disarray. The chaos wrought by the Watchers and their offspring, the Nephilim, caught the attention of the divine. The Archangel Michael was tasked with the imprisonment of the Watchers, their punishment for transgressing the divine order. They were to be bound in the depths of the earth, their cries unheard, their pleas unanswered. The Nephilim, too, met a tragic end, their existence wiped from the face of the earth. This tale of the Watchers is a cautionary one, a tale of ambition and desire leading to downfall. It reminds us of the delicate balance of knowledge and power, of the consequences of stepping beyond one's designated role. It is a tale of divine punishment and retribution, a stark reminder that the pursuit of knowledge and power, when unchecked, can lead to devastating consequences. The Watchers, in their quest for knowledge and power, brought about a cataclysmic change in the world, a tale of divine punishment and retribution. The second part, the parables of Enoch, is filled with visions and prophecies. This section is a testament to Enoch's journey into the celestial sphere, revealing a world beyond our mortal comprehension. Enoch's visions of heaven are profound and awe-inspiring. He describes a realm of radiating light where righteousness is the cornerstone and divine justice is the rule. Here angels tread lightly and the air is filled with an ethereal chorus of celestial beings singing praises to the Most High. But the serenity of this celestial realm is juxtaposed by the stark prophecy of the future judgment of the wicked. Enoch's visions depict a time of reckoning, where the wicked are brought to account for their transgressions. The righteous, he prophesies, shall watch as the wicked are cast into a fiery abyss, their cries echoing through the realms. It's a vivid portrayal of divine justice, 
a stark reminder of the consequences of straying from the path of righteousness. Among these prophecies, one stands out, the coming of the Son of Man. Enoch prophesies as a figure of salvation and judgment, a beacon of hope for the righteous, and a harbinger of doom for the wicked. This Son of Man is described as an eternal king, whose dominion shall encompass the heavens and the earth. His arrival, Enoch tells us, will mark a new era of righteousness, where the wicked are purged, and the righteous shall inherit the earth. It's a prophecy that resonates through time, echoing in the halls of religious discourse and theological debate. It is a prophecy that has been interpreted and reinterpreted, shaping our understanding of the divine and our place in the cosmos. Enoch's parables serve as a divine revelation, a glimpse into the celestial realm and the impending judgment. They are a testament to the power of faith and the promise of divine justice, reminding us of the eternal struggle between good and evil and the ultimate triumph of righteousness. The third and final part of the Book of Enoch, the astronomical book, takes us on a cosmic journey. This fascinating segment offers an alternative view of the universe, one that is steeped in ancient wisdom and celestial lore. The astronomical book is a captivating exploration of the heavens, offering intricate details about the heavenly bodies that light up our night sky. It describes the sun, moon and stars with an almost poetic reverence, imbuing them with a divine significance that is hard to ignore. The stars are not just distant balls of gas, but celestial beings with their own tales to tell. The sun and moon are not merely celestial bodies, but divine entities governing the day and night. The book also delves into the intricacies of an ancient calendar system. This calendar, consisting of 364 days, is divided into four equal parts, each representing a different season. This system of timekeeping is unique, a testament to the advanced understanding of astronomical phenomena by the ancients. Throughout this cosmic journey, the angel Uriel plays a pivotal role. Uriel, the angel of wisdom and light, serves as Enoch's celestial guide. He provides Enoch with a deeper understanding of the cosmic order and the divine laws governing the universe. Uriel's role underscores the recurring theme of divine wisdom permeating the entire Book of Enoch. In essence, the astronomical book is a celestial handbook, a guide to understanding the universe from a divine perspective. It transforms our understanding of the cosmos, taking us beyond the physical realm and into a world where the divine and the astronomical are intricately intertwined. The astronomical book, through its cosmic revelations, gives us a unique perspective on the universe according to the Book of Enoch. What remains of Enoch's story is a rich tapestry of ancient wisdom, celestial revelations and prophetic visions. Let's take a moment to reflect on the key points we've discussed and ponder on the impact and influence of the Book of Enoch. Despite its non-canonical status, it's undeniable that the Book of Enoch holds a profound resonance in our understanding of ancient religious and philosophical thought. We've delved into the enigma of Enoch, a figure of great intrigue, who trod the earth and heavens, and lived to tell the tale. His story, encapsulated within the mystical pages of the Book of Enoch, provides us with a glimpse into a world beyond our mortal comprehension. We've explored the Book of Watchers, where Enoch encounters celestial beings tasked with watching over humanity. This narrative not only challenges our understanding of divine hierarchies, but also raises profound questions about duty, morality, and the consequences of transgression. Our journey through the parables of Enoch has shown us the power of allegory and the deep wisdom that can be gleaned from such narratives. These parables, rich in symbolism and moral lessons, continue to inspire thought and discussion amongst scholars and enthusiasts alike. We've also ventured into the astronomical book, a testament to the ancient fascination with the cosmos. Enoch's celestial journey through this book offers a unique perspective on the universe, intertwining scientific observation, religious belief, and philosophical inquiry. The Book of Enoch, though excluded from the canonical Bible, has left a significant imprint on Judeo-Christian traditions. Its themes and narratives have influenced countless works of literature, art, and theology. It has shaped our understanding of angelology, eschatology, and cosmology. It has inspired countless interpretations and debates and continues to do so. The Book of Enoch remains a fascinating exploration of ancient beliefs and the enigma that is Enoch continues to captivate us even today.